The screen recorder has been stopped. As this giant AI called OBT from Meta AI is open source, this means I can get the whole AI model for free. Just a quick brief about OPT. OPT is an AI model similar to GPT-3. It can generate and complete text for you. There are multiple versions of this AI. The big one and the best one is OPT 175 billion parameters and the size of this one is 328 gigabyte. Wanna know more about OPT? The video for that is below. Anyway, I'm already paying for an AI writing assistant. So I want to know if I can replace that with this giant OPT AI model. That will be a big relief for me and maybe for you. Also, I want to know what it's like to run an actual AI not on a server, but my normal laptop. Before I start, two quick things to keep in mind. My laptop specifications are the following. The CPU is Intel i7 10th generation. It has 16 gigabyte DDR4 of RAM. Also has six gigabyte external NVIDIA GPU running on Windows 10. And of course, I'm using an SSD drive. So it's not a server or something, but just a mid-range laptop. For the editor that will run the AI, I'll be using Spider Editor, which is one of the Python IDEs. Don't worry if you don't know it. Okay, we are ready, so let's begin. First, I need to install some dependencies. This is important to make this AI work. Not a big deal, but there are two ways to make this big AI work either using the official way by meta ai which requires the following dependencies pytorch apex megatron and fair scale or using the transformers library by hugging face which requires the following dependencies tensorflow version 2 flax and pytorch i have chosen to go with the second way because it looks easier next i need to download the ai itself and link it with the dependencies these are the available versions of opt i'm starting with the opt 125m ai model which has been trained on 125 million parameters lastly i need to just run the ai so let's jump into my screen and run it this is inside the spider editor by the way it's with a y and not i spider okay this is the code that is needed to run the ai it's simple please don't be uh, overwhelmed the first piece of code is for um, importing the transformers library and the next two right here are for calling the ai to generate and complete our text here you can see that i'm calling the 125 million parameters ai model by meta ai and here I need to give the AI some context about what I want to write about. For me, it's to live a happy life you need, and that's it. It, will, it should complete the sentence for me, okay? The last two sentences right here are for just pr uh, printing the output right here into the console, okay? Everything seems good. Now I can hit the run button. Are you ready for this? Here we go. I think now it's processing the input and uh, the current memory usage is 52% and I think it will take some time. There you go, this is the result. Okay, right here. To live a happy life, you need patient. Learn how bad you treat. Okay, now that's it. This is the whole uh, output. It's actually, you know, I, I will not say very bad, but it's bad. Like uh, it just give, give us one word or three words and then the, the rest of the words are bad. So let's give it another try and uh, then move to a bigger version of OPT. I'll click on run. And there you go, this is the result. And the result is to live a happy life, you need skills like wit, wit, you go. I don't know how to, to say these. These are not words. It works successfully, but now let's try a bigger version like OPT 350M or million parameters. Or you know what? Let's try 2.7 billion parameters 
This way we should expect way much better output, right? After that, we can try the biggest version available of OPT. Now, all I need to do to use OPT 2.7b instead of this version is just changing the text right here to, to be like this. And that's it. Now for the name of the variable, I don't need to rename it, but for here, just for you guys to understand it, that it's coming from two point, oh, sorry. Yep, just like that. And now I can hit the run button. Let's see what is going to happen with, with this little change. Okay. Sorry guys for the interruption, but uh, I had to record this for using my phone because uh, the, the screen recorder has been stopped. So as you can see here, the, the memory allocation for running the AI is almost 100% and uh, it goes up to 100% but now it's down. As you can see, now it's running the AI. Of course, I closed all the applications and the windows but there are the uh, applications that are running from the system from Windows uh, 10 and there are there is the editor, okay? That's why it's taking a memory uh, of 100% and now it's still not generating the output. It, it took, I think, two minutes and it's still not able to generate the output. It's taking a little bit of time. So I close the camera right now and wait until it completes. Um, after five minutes of waiting, it finally worked and I got my text output. As you can see right here, this is the output, text from 2.7 billion parameters. This is from our text. The generated text is uh, to live a happy life, you need happiness within yourself. Happiness comes from within yourself. Happiness comes, comes I guess it's going to repeat the same sentence again. So that output is way much better than what we saw from the 125M. And if I repeat that, but I'm not going to repeat that because my whole uh, laptop froze for five minutes to complete this, to complete just one run. But anyway, I mean, uh, if I'm going to repeat uh, and, say, and see one more generation or other, like three more generations, I'll see uh, something maybe different than this and uh, it will be better than this, I guess. You might be wondering why this happened with this version of OPT and not with the uh, other one. After analyzing what just happened, I saw one main cause for this. It's the AI version size. For the 125M version, it's around 250 megabyte. And for the 2.7 billion version, it's around five gigabyte. But didn't I say I have 16 gigabyte of RAM and six gigabyte of GPU? For the RAM part, Yes, that's true, but there are the dependencies size along with the AI size. These will load around 9 gigabyte into the memory. Also, don't forget the OS size along with the system services that are running no matter what and the spider editor. All of that is around 16 gigabyte and has to be loaded into the RAM to run the AI. But this doesn't explain the GPU part. It looks like the GPU wasn't used at all in running the AI. Yep, and after looking into this, I saw that the GPU wasn't being used. But why? Because the whole setup that you saw should be different if I'm using GPU for processing the AI or running the AI. Meaning I need other bigger libraries and dependencies to run this OPT AI model on GPU. And some of them, unlike the ones I used, need licenses to be used. So it's a completely different story. Okay, then what about trying to run the biggest version of OPT on my laptop? Well, after I saw what is what happened to my computer, I see that I need to uh, at least 350 gigabyte of RAM to just run that version. That's impossible for me to have on my normal laptop. Better than that would be knowing what is recently being developed 
to reach AGI, Artificial General Intelligence, sooner than anybody would expect. Watch here and judge yourself. I will continue with you there. Thank you for watching.